We're, We're selling, selling the, the Utah, Utah house. house. I'm so excited. I can't believe we're actually doing it. We feel like it's a really good time. We spent a ton of time in our office in the Beam House contemplating whether to do it. And now we're here. We're doing it. We're doing it. And there's so much we have to do to get this house ready to sell. Today we're going to share some of the stuff that we were thinking about as we were trying to figure out if we're going to sell it or not. And we're going to share everything we learned on how to prepare to sell a house. So let's get into it. I'm Seeking Alexi, and I'm all about empowering women to do DIY projects, whether you have a huge renovation in front of you or just a simple DIY. My hope is that as you seek Alexi, I can give you a little guts and a little guidance on all your home projects, whether you're laying new floors or just styling your shelves. We have a lot of exciting plans coming up in the future and so make sure you stick around because the home selling and buying process there's it's just a, getting started. It's just getting started and we have lots to share with you guys so make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing with the home selling and buying processes and yes of course I will keep doing DIY and home renovation videos to help you guys out in that aspect as well. So. Last minute, we flew all the way here just so we could prep the house to get it ready for sale. and a layover and almost missing both of our flights, we finally made it to the Utah house. And our plan was that in less than 48 hours, we would have the whole house prepped to be sold in one weekend, but we were naively optimistic about what we could get done. But we're still really grateful that we came to the house so we could walk through it with our real estate agent and see firsthand everything that we were gonna have to do to get this house prepared to be sold. Okay, we're, I am so excited that we're selling this house. It took so much time and effort trying to figure out if this was the right time to sell it and if this was the right thing to do, but. We decided now is a good time. The market is really hot in Utah as well as other cities. And the other thing too is it takes a long time to sell a house and we actually jumped on homes.com to kind of figure out the whole home buying process. They have this whole super in depth. Yeah, so it's just so in depth. It's like a whole page on their website. Tanner's going to pull it up right now. It has six different tabs here on the bottom and you can go through and click on each one and it tells you the different steps of selling your house, which is super helpful when you're pretty new to the home selling game, you don't know what you're doing. We've never sold any homes, we've only purchased some homes, so we were completely lost and this has been the most helpful resource figuring out all of the details. So one of the first steps you have to do is assemble your team. So luckily my brother-in-law is gonna be our real estate agent, so that's easy and- Shout out to Brady. Yeah, shout out to Brady Johnson. He's awesome and he knows the the buying process really well because he used to be a mortgage loan officer so if you need one go to him brady's awesome so timing wise more specifically once we started talking with him and looking at it's the holidays it's kind of like a tricky time to figure out exactly where we're going to put it on the market so he really helped us fine tune that so we've done a little bit of research with homes.com as well as brady helping us out doing some comps in the area to see how much houses are worth, what we like could possibly get out of the house. Uh, and that's been super helpful to, yeah, give us a good idea of where we want to end up uh, when we do sell the house. And Brady even pointed out a few things that neither of us had noticed. And I think because he has that mind, that's what's helpful about planning with your real estate agent is make sure that they can come over to the house with you, walk through it, 
and they're going to be able to point out stuff that you didn't notice and so you can fix those stuff up before you put it on the market. And Brady brought up a good point when he was showing us those small little things. He pointed out that if people see something small, like one thing, they'll start looking for other problems and other issues which you want to obviously avoid right away. Like this is a pretty new house. It was built in 2014, but there's still just a little bit of wear and tear because people have lived in it forever. Well, since it was- Forever. <laughs> forever. So this weekend we just went around like fine tune, <laughs> with a fine tune comb, how do you say Tooth. Fine tooth comb, just figuring out like all of the things we're gonna need to fix up, like places that need touch up, um, lights that need to be replaced, light bulbs, like, and then, Obviously the funnest part about selling the house is just staging it, which I am so excited to be doing, is just getting all the furniture in order, hanging the right things on the walls, decluttering, that's the biggest thing, is you just want everything to be very simple and not too much stuff in the house. So we need it to look nice in photos and get it ready for the market. So it's kind of just like hiding stuff and simplifying and making sure that nothing's too oversized because when it's oversized, it makes the space look smaller, which is a huge tip for you guys if you're ever selling your house. With this house in particular, there was also a lot of unfinished projects. That's for me. Whoops. This girl. <laughs> yeah. So we spent the, uh, the weekend working on those and kind of touching up, tying up loose ends. One of the biggest projects that was undone was the cabinets in the mudroom. They had been started, uh, just the basic skeleton in place. So we finished that up, did all the trim work, and made it look really nice. And built-ins are a huge upgrade when people are coming and walking through a house. So if they can see that there's shelves installed or built-ins or cabinetry or extra storage, those are really good upsells when you're selling it. So it was really important that we finish that because we want people to walk into the mudroom and be able to say, oh, that's awesome. I can imagine putting my stuff here or my kids' soccer balls in there and have plenty of storage if they need it. We'll do all that ourselves because we're very handy. We're so handy. It's really important to have a marketing plan to get the word out about your house. There's several ways to do that. Social media, contacting friends, word of mouth is huge. And neighborhoods as well. Like, go tell your neighbors. Like, go knock on their doors and just tell them, hey, we're selling the house. My neighbor actually saw us and he's like, oh good, now I can tell people. How oh, are my friends moving? Yeah, oh good, I can tell my friends that you're moving so I could get some friends moving in next door. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. If you guys liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for a house, make sure you check out in the description. I'll have some links for you guys to kind of help you out with selling your house or just looking for homes to be purchasing. We have a lot of exciting plans coming up in the future. And so make sure you stick around because the home selling and buying process. There's it's just a, getting started. It's just getting started. There's so much to learn about it and we have lots to teach you guys. Make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so you can keep up to date with everything we're doing there. Thank you so much for watching today's Thanks, video. Guys. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh shoot. We're about to get cut off for a flight. I'm not, I'm not even making this up. I just ran through the airport. Tanner's bag got hung up. They're like about to close the gate. Oh, here he is. Okay, here he is. Run, babe. Go, go. Okay. Oh my gosh. We almost missed our flight because we won Raising Kings and chips and salsa from Chili's. I feel so sick. I'm gonna throw